Hello everyone, my name is Trepid KG and welcome to Sprocket. No face cam today just because I don't think it really needs to have a face cam. But we're going to be playing Sprocket today and we're going to do a little challenge for ourselves. Um, we're going to be making a German heavy tank. Here's the uh, plan specs and name and everything. Uh, you can go ahead and read that. But Oh shit, my bad. Um, uh, this is going to be more like a you know speed build kind of thing and you know I'll just play music while I build it but um, I think you should be probably done reading that um, I haven't started as you can see uh, I'll save that I'll show you some of my other creations I built there we go so, um, I built this a while ago or not a while ago I, I actually just literally just now finished it um, I think it's pretty cool but I didn't really put a description for this. The only one I've actually put a description for is uh, this one, which, I mean, you can pause it, scroll down um, if you want to read that. But I think this tank's pretty cool. But these are just my creations. Um, I have uh, factions, Ford, uh, this tank. Oh, I also... Um, <laughs> here's a funny one I built uh, we don't talk about this one so anyways not the point um, let's go back to crop so by the end of the, I do have reference pictures over on my second monitor on my right um, and you will most likely see the resemblance um, at the end but I don't really think I have anything else to say and I don't really have time to spare because this is going to take quite a some time so I'll go ahead and get started um, you'll hear me at the end of the build whenever I'm finished and we can test it out see you guys Yo, dude, you play some zombies? <laughs>
Well, okay, welcome back. Um, this didn't take me very long at all. The recording said says about an hour and 30 minutes. Then again, this is just, you know, basically a big box with a turret on it. Um, but some of you that know tanks will probably see the resemblance to the VK... Uh, what's it? What's it called? The VK one hundred O one P, um, and that's very intentional. Uh, I was going off a reference picture actually. It wasn't exactly. I wasn't trying to do a replica, at all. Um, because I hate replicas in these kind of games. But, um, it has about. It has about. 260 millimeters of penetration. I just tested out the speed. Um, it is a blistering 20 miles an hour. Or sorry, tw 20 and a half miles an hour. Um, this it has an HL210 engine, which, if you don't know anything about tanks, that is roughly an engine for about a 30 to 40 ton tank. Uh, this is almost 70 tons, so very underpowered. This tank would probably explode if it was in real life, um, just like the Tiger II. But yeah, this is the uh, this is the tank basically. Um, it's not perfect. I feel like it's a little bit unpolished, or I guess it looks a little bit too polished. It looks a little bit too smooth. Um, I don't really know how to fix that because I'm not very good at you know fine detailing uh, in Sprocket. Um, hold on. Oh, bounced. Um, this tank is very well armored. Um, from the front, it's about 240 millimeters of effective lower play. It's about 220, 230, 230 or something. Um, the cheek, uh, it varies a lot. It's from like 150 to, whoa, hold on. Might have to do some on the go fixing here. What the hell? All right, anyways. Um, turret cheek's about, uh, I'm calculating the numbers, it's about, uh, 200, uh, 190 millimeters, uh, average. Uh, the mantlet, I think that's just, counts as extra armor, I'm not exactly sure how that works in geometric internals and sprocket. Um, from the side, it's, again, this is a side skirt, so it counts as extra armor, I'm pretty sure. So 50 plus 90... Um, that's 140. Uh, we got about 110 mil til mil tillimeters. Yes, 110 tillimeters of armor on the upper side. Rear, we have about 80. Uh, effective would be about 90 or something. Um, but the rear armor is about 150. So that makes the rear, rear armor much thicker than the side armor, which is very intentional. Um, why? I don't know. I just thought it. I, I just thought it'd be kind of quirky. Um, the 128 pack 43. Sorry, interruption. Um, the 128 millimeter pack 43 has two loaders. You can't do that in Sprocket. You so you just have to like you can only assign one loader. Um, but just you just have to imagine that these two are the loaders. Uh, the ammo is kind of just spread everywhere because I had a fucking requirement that it had to be, uh, had to have at least 40 rounds of ammunition. Um, the gunner is kind of squeezed in there. Most of the crew is, f has a lot of space actually to move around. Like the driver has basically the entire hole to himself, um, or front of the hole at least. But, mm, there we go. All right. Uh, can we scoot him backwards a little bit? There we go. All right, the gunner has ample space now. He does at least. Um, the commander's back here. He has his commander Capola. I use I use the uh I always on all all of my tanks. I always use the Matilda two, um Capola, but just because I think it looks the best. I think this light mirror, whatever the hell that is, I think that looks really cool. Um, only one person in the hole, no machine gunner, but that is about it for this tank. Um, I can't really think of anything else other than the fact that it's seven tons overweight. Um, but yeah, I hit, I hit all the, uh, I just realized that that said pack 43 instead of pack 44. Let me change that right now. Um, so... 
yeah, not much, not much else to say. I don't think. I, I think I've covered everything. I hit all the uh, requirements. So yeah, that is the VK sixty one twenty eight. Um, if you like this video, leave a like. Uh, check out some of my other videos. Again, this is not my style of content, so you know the quality is going to be, you know, dubious at best. But um, yeah, other than that, love you guys. See you in the next video. See you guys.